Hi there, my name is Isaac Oster, and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about transpose tools. So to begin, I'm just going to create a little piece of geometry, draw a z-sphere out, and go to edit mode, and then I'm going to turn symmetry on by hitting the X key, and just create kind of a tube shape. Hit A to create a piece of geometry, or a preview mesh, and then make poly mesh 3D to turn it into an editable poly. So when you're dealing with z-spheres and you use the move, scale, and rotate, it does just that. It moves it and scales it and rotates it. You sort of see it rotating there. But when you're dealing with an editable po or a poly mesh 3D, it has a completely different effect. So to begin with, I'm just going to mask half of this off go to the move transpose mode hotkey for that again is, is uh, W, E, and R just like with, with the Z spheres I'm going to click on the surface and then drag off and hold the shift key and that will snap it to 30 degree increments in this case I'm just going to leave it sort of horizontally oriented here so this is the transpose tool there are three modes move, scale, and rotate and they all look the same W, E, and R but they actually behave pretty differently. Once you get into the actual behavior of the move, moving, scaling, and rotating, but uh, drawing them is is consistent between all different modes. So I'm going to talk about that first. So I've I've just clicked anywhere on the surface and drawn off of it. What that does is the resulting line is going to be perpendicular to the camera. So if I draw there and I hold the shift key, that line is perpendicular to the camera. So that makes it very easy to move something sorry I need to be in move mode move something you know along a horizontal or vertical axis relative to the camera so I need to start drawing on the geometry I don't have to end the stroke on on geometry if I don't it's going to be perpendicular to the camera but if I do it's going to actually snap to the surface so this is a sorry I need to not hold the shift key so if I don't hold the shift key, it'll stop the surface. So this is a good way if you wanted to move something along th this angle, all you need to do is hold the shift key and it will actually s stick to this line, the, the movement. So what are we doing when we move it? If I grab the endpoint, it's basically a non-linear scale. And you can see I, I've got some not completely massed points over there. Yeah, that's better. If I grab it from the middle point, it's going to be a uniform move, and that transform is going to be evenly distributed across this masking according to the density of the masking. So you can see that, that uh, blending there. And if I click it from the start point, what I get is this trimming effect. So from the outside, it's going to be a skew. Hold on. From the middle, it's going to be a uniform movement and from the starting point it's going to be this trim so that's move the way scale works is if I grab the outside point so you can actually reposition this if you grab the golden ring but if you want to activate it you need to make sure that you're inside the uh, uh, the red ring there and I'm having some trouble with that so anyway if you grab it from the inside it's going to scale it out with this being the pivot, and if you grab it from this side, it's going to scale it out with this being the pivot. If you grab it from the middle point, it's just a uniform scale. It just kind of inflates. And you can see this is the pivot. So if what I wanted was for this thing to actually inflate from the middle, what I need to do is grab the ring and move it to the middle of the form as best I can. Whoops. Try that again. So you can see a little bit more uniform there, or, or, or uh, at least inflating from the center. So that's scale. The way rotate works is the same general idea, except it's, 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 it looks a lot like move, except it's not a skew. It, it maintains the relative scale and orientation of all the verts that are unmasked. And both sides just use the other side as the pivot but in this case what the middle does is it actually rotates around the line 
So that's pretty much all there is to it with move scale and rotate. I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but if you want to change the orientation, you can easily do so by clicking these other icons here and it'll just point the, the, the transpose tool in that new direction. So uh, there you go. I think uh, we're about ready to start modeling our hand now.